Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, or should I say, bom dia, boa tarde, boa noite, because yes, our next destination is going to be Portugal. So guys, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube show. Um, for the newcomers, my name is Didi Tayutu. You might recognize me from three and a half years ago, when we as a family sold literally everything we owned, we went all into Bitcoin and we started to travel the world. Three and a half years later, still traveling the world coming to you guys from Alicante in Spain where we will spend the last week in Spain before we will go to Portugal in today's video I just want to update you again about Bitcoin and why I believe Bitcoin is the king there is not going to be any other news in this video this news is solely about Bitcoin because I want you to be able to watch this video again and again this week next week next month next year because this information i'm sharing with you guys now will be valid forever a really cool video with really cool information filmed from a different angle a little bit lower because i had a comment that told me did he hold your camera lower enjoy today's video and zoom out the rest of the weekend because that is exactly what i'm going to do i'm going to zoom out after editing this video zoom in at the family so the next video guys will be on monday zoom out <laughs> hi guys indeed zoom out can you see the beautiful blue skies behind me it's unbelievable how blue the skies are today it's like this light very clear blue yes some clouds but the blue amazing just like my blue shirt zoom out in b zoom in on life i just want to update you on some thoughts i had in my head when i woke up this day many people always say bitcoin is king that is the reason why i huddle my bitcoin why is bitcoin king bitcoin at the moment is around 10,500 us dollar per bitcoin yes we had a drop from 12k to 10k i know but you know you saw already all these other videos i made and you understand by now that a bull run consists out of runs and drops 200%, 40%, 200%, 40%, 200%, We can almost make a song out of it. But I'm going to give you more positive energy today about Bitcoin, for Bitcoin, because I want to share some really cool stuff with you. Let's compare Bitcoin to any other investment opportunity you had in the last decade. So let's start to compare Bitcoin with stocks. The best performing stocks of the last decade, Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, and tesla we are going to compare all these giants to bitcoin check this chart bam beautiful chart this chart is showing you that if you invested 100 dollars 10 years ago in bitcoin or amazon or microsoft or apple what the result would be today so if you would have invested 100 dollars in apple 10 years ago you would now have around 2400 dollars if you would have invested $100 in Amazon 10 years ago, you would now have around $3,300 US dollar. If you would have invested $100 in Microsoft uh, 10 years ago, you would now have $1,000 US dollar. Or for example, Visa 10 years ago, you would now have $1,700 US dollar. Or maybe the very popular Facebook. Man, you would even have 520 US dollar when you invested $100 10 years ago in Facebook. But how much would you have now if you would have invested $100 in Bitcoin? If you would have invested $100 in Bitcoin 10 years ago, you would now have around 9,200 US dollar. That's a 9 million percent gain. Dwarfing all the other giants in this industry, like Amazon, like Apple, like Microsoft. Yes, they did huge gains as well. They did gains of 3,000%, or 2,500%, or 900%. But that's a little bit different than 9 million percent. So Bitcoin is the king when it comes to return on investment of the last decade. Is the king. 9 million percent. And yes, of course, I know for all the Tesla lovers out there, 
Yes, I forgot to mention Tesla in this one. Let's look at Tesla because Tesla did really good last year. The Tesla stock grew about 485% since last July in 2019. Huge rise in the price, of course. Very good job, Elon Musk. Very good job. Still, if you would have invested $100 in Tesla 10 years ago, you would only have $4,000 at the moment. That's completely different than 9 million in Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is still the king. Long term, 10 years, Bitcoin is king. Even in the last five years, Bitcoin is king. I think even in the last year, Bitcoin is still the king. Yeah, Didi, of course, easy talking over there. But then uh, please compare Bitcoin to indices. How do you say it? Indices? So let's compare Bitcoin to these indices. The Nasdaq, the S&P 500, the Nikkei, the Dow Jones. Let's compare Bitcoin to these top five. And let's zoom a little bit more in. Let's, let's take the last, last five years. So you guys cannot say, ah, yeah, but 10 years is a long period. Let's take the last five years. Let's see how much return investment you would have made if you would have invested in the Nasdaq, you would have a return of investment of 96% really good return on investment even the s p 500 46 percent okay i need to try not to laugh with these numbers stay serious diddy dow jones 42.6 percent good job dow jones good job nikkei another 12 percent over there also very positive result very positive return on investment for the nikkei investors ftse 100 nah that one didn't do that good and i think that dropped with seven percent so that would be a very bad investment. And now the result in Bitcoin. How much would your return on investment have been in Bitcoin if you invested five years ago? You can see on this chart, bam, that would only be about 3,456%. So that's also dwarfing all these indices like the NASDAQ, like the SP500. It's nothing compared to Bitcoin. You can't even notice the columns anymore. That is how big the difference is between Bitcoin and all these indices. Bitcoin is way bigger than all of these. Even if we just consider the time period from January this year today, we can see that Bitcoin still is up like around 30%. And many of these indices are down like red, red, people losing money. So when they would have invested in Bitcoin, they would be up 30% and now they are down. That's a huge difference. So yes, Bitcoin is the king when it comes to investments in stocks or indices. Yeah, but Didi, you know, it's easy talk for you. It's a small cap market and that's more easy to make return on investment in a small cap market. You are completely right. Bitcoin is a very small market cap if we compare it to these huge stocks or to these indices, then Bitcoin is almost nothing. Because Bitcoin at the moment has a market cap of around 190 billion, 193 billion, somewhere in that region. So yes, that's not a big market cap. If you compare this to Apple, Apple has a market cap of 2 trillion. So that's uh, like 10 times more than Bitcoin. The whole crypto market cap at the moment is about 350 billion. So that's like, Apple is almost seven times bigger than the whole crypto market cap. For example, Amazon also 1.6 trillion market cap or Microsoft also a 1.6 trillion market cap. Huge market caps. They dwarf Bitcoin when it comes to market caps. But in my opinion, this is the most positive thing to see because this means there is a lot of growth possible for Bitcoin. Because if you would combine the market cap of Amazon Microsoft and Apple, we would have a total market cap of about 5.2 trillion US dollar. So let's say that all these investors that invested in Microsoft, Amazon and Apple will like diversify 10% of their portfolio in the next years to Bitcoin. So then we would see an inflow into the Bitcoin market of 10% of these 5 trillion US dollar. That would be around 500 billion US dollar. So that would most triple the market cap of Bitcoin or double the total crypto coin market cap. So even if we have 10% from all these intelligent investors that were early investors in Amazon, that were early investors in Microsoft, that were early investors in Apple, they were early investors in these projects because they are intelligent. They can foresee the future. They can see that these technologies they invested in 10 years ago were going to grow. 
So when these people slowly start to understand these new revolutionary technologies, they will start to diversify their portfolio again because they always invest long term. And when they start to diversify 10% of their total portfolio, we will already see a triple market cap of the Bitcoin market cap. We will already see a double market cap of the total cryptocurrency market cap. To be very clear, if this market cap doubles, this means that the Bitcoin price needs to increase because we still only have 21 million Bitcoins to sell. So the only thing that can happen is a price increase because the price will never decrease when the demand is growing and the supply is staying the same. I foresee a huge future for King Bitcoin and that will take Bitcoin into new all-time highs we have never seen before. And that's double, Didi. That's why they call it an all-time high because we never saw that price before. Good morning. Aha, but Didi, now I got you. I got you. You sick bastard, you Bitcoin believer. <laughs> you didn't compare Bitcoin to gold and silver. Gold and silver will destroy the Bitcoin's returns on investment. Okay, let's take a look at this beautiful chart created by Willy Who from Whomnomics. This one, bam! On this chart, you can see the difference that if you would have invested $1 into Bitcoin 10 and a half years ago, or $1 into gold, Ten and a half years ago. One dollar in Bitcoin ten and a half years ago, guys, you would at the moment own, give or take, 13 million seven hundred thousand US dollar. If you would have invested one dollar ten and a half years ago in gold, Trump ruffled, yeah, make it exciting, you would now have one dollar ninety. <laughs> one dollar ninety. So if you would have invested one dollar, so, so if you would have invested one dollar in Bitcoin ten and a half years ago, you would be a millionaire. You would have thirteen million US dollar. And if you would have invested one dollar in gold ten and a half years ago, you could now buy a Snickers bar. Yeah, that's the difference, guys. That's the difference. And yes, if we would have, and if I can't make it more clear, I can't make it more exciting. So yes, even if you would have invested one dollar in silver. <laughs> we can again get some drum ruffles over there. I, I can't stop laughing anymore. But even if you were invested in silver, yeah, <laughs> we, we, we would have now one dollar and seven cents. We would have one dollar and seven cents because the silver price only increased with seven percent. That's the Bitcoin increase in a minute or in a two minute day or in a five minute time frame. Bitcoin increased already with seven percent. So, guys. <laughs> Bitcoin is king. Sorry, I need to laugh at this. It's not funny maybe for other people that invested in gold and they lost a lot of money or they didn't make as much profit as they could have made. So I don't want to laugh in their faces, but I, I just can't help it. <laughs> I, I, I can just can see all these people in my mind that you're, you know, they had thousand dollar in silver like ten, ten and a half years ago, and they were like, "Wow, I will invest thousand dollar in silver now, and in ten and a half years, wow, it will increase tremendously." And we will buy a yacht and sell the, and we will start to sell all the world. And and now they have like thousand seventy US dollar or seventy. So that didn't um, that didn't do really good for their capital growth. But I also need to be honest, it did protect their capital from losing. So I think these people that invested in gold and silver are also smart people because they still have the same capital. But I don't know if we do the inflation calculation, etc., if they can still use that capital in the same way they could use it 10 years ago. Because I think that the thousand dollars they had at that time buys them way less nowadays. Under the line, you didn't make profit, you even lost. You did make profit on Bitcoin because that one dollar would have made 13 million dollars. So even if the cost of living increased tremendously in Bitcoin, you would still be in profit. And all the other ones, I think, hmm, under the line, if you calculate inflation, I don't think there is a, a lot of profit left. So I hope you enjoyed. Sorry that I can't stop laughing. So I hope you enjoyed this comparison between Bitcoin, all these stocks, and all these indices, and gold and silver. Because um, again, this is showing you why Bitcoin is this powerful and why I still believe that there is a lot of growth potential in Bitcoin because the market cap is like peanuts compared to the market caps of these stocks, of this gold and silver and of these indices.
because we just calculated with the market cap of the stocks, you know, this 10% calculation we did, that then the market cap would double. But if we're going to add the gold market cap, that's about 9 trillion US dollar, then we would have like 10 trillion dollar plus the already the 5 trillion dollar, that would be 15 trillion dollar stocks gold silver and if we would take this 15 million dollar and we would take 10 percent of this market cap that would flow into bitcoin because these intelligent investors are diversifying their portfolio then we go have 10 percent of 15 trillion so that would be 150 billion us dollar it would be the total crypto market cap now times five from now or the bitcoin market cap times 10 from now so and then the price of bitcoin would even go way much higher if 10% of all that capital will flow into um, cryptocurrency and mainly Bitcoin. So let's see what will happen in the future. But I needed to make this video because I think it's a really cool add-on to the very positive video I already made yesterday. So you have a stressless weekend. So please zoom out in cryptocurrencies, zoom in at life. Oh yes, latest update. We just booked our tickets to Portugal. So Portugal, here we come. We will fly to Portugal on the 12th of September. We are very much looking forward to visiting Portugal. We already visited Portugal once. We loved the country. We loved the mentality, the people. We also hear that they are not freaking out on all this flu stuff. So that's what I'm looking forward to, to be walking around through these beautiful cities of Lisbon and Porto and Albufeira and all these cities without wearing a face mask. I'm looking forward to visiting Portugal and teaching my kids some Portuguese. Yes, also looking forward to all those digital nomad families that are living in Portugal because there is a shitload of families with same age kids living in Portugal for longer periods of time. So that would be really cool for our kids to mingle with these kids and so that they have some social context. Also looking forward to discover the whole crypto scene in Portugal. I hear that the Portuguese crypto scene is really booming and really cool. And um, yes, also very good for your taxes because I think Portugal has a zero tax on Bitcoin. Even if you mine Bitcoins, you pay 0% tax in Portugal. So very much looking forward. If I can pay stuff in Portugal with Bitcoin directly, if I can find Portuguese companies that support Bitcoin, if I can find other Portuguese digital nomads that we can talk long nights about bitcoin blockchain and life because that is exactly what i need at the moment i need to be surrounded with many other positive people that think positive about life that think positive about this beautiful revolution and technology that we are creating with these tools of blockchain and bitcoin so very much looking forward to portugal and to say every morning to all these portuguese people bom dia because bom dia makes Good morning, and I find the sound of these words beautiful. Bom dia, bom dia. I will open every video in Portugal with bom dia. Good morning. Yeah. So yes, looking forward as a family as well. And um, because we are going to Portugal, I'm going to walk back home now. I'm going to ask my wife and kids to pronounce some Portuguese sentences because they need to start to practice to speak. Portuguese, let's surprise them and let's see how they will be in pronouncing Bitcoin, how they will ask in Portuguese, can I pay with Bitcoin? Let's first start with Juna. Where are we going? Portugal. Can you speak Portuguese? No. <laughs> how do you say good morning? You know how the telephone works? How do you pronounce it? Bom dia. Bom dia. And good afternoon. Boa tarde. Can you listen? How do you need to pronounce it? Boa tarde. Try it. Boa tarde. Uh, Boa noite. <laughs> can I pay with Bitcoin? Posso pagar com Bitcoin. Listen to it. You will like it. Posso pagar com Bitcoin. <laughs> com Bitcoin. <laughs> Posso pagar com Bitcoin. <laughs> Bitcoin. Bitcoin. We are going to check my wife, my beautiful wife. My princess, my queen. Bitcoin is king, she's the queen. What do you need? <laughs> what can I choose? <laughs> no, what How do you say good morning in Portuguese? Oh my god. Eh. Bom dia. Bom dia. Bom dia, okay. <laughs> okay, let's try evening. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> do in, you know? In Portugal, yeah. you need to sing a little bit. Oh, okay. So it's more like boa. Boa, not bon, but boa. Yeah. Boa noite. 
Noite. Boa noite. Noite. Okay. Noite. Okay. Noite. <laughs> okay, last one. Can I pay with Bitcoin? Pagar. Pagar Bitcoin. <laughs> Let's keep it to just Bitcoin. How do you pronounce Bitcoin in yeah, Portuguese? Bitcoin, I don't know. No. Bitchy coin. Bitchy coin. Okay. Bitchy coin. <laughs> Bitch coin. <laughs> Bitch coin. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, please if you did like the video give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell and leave a comment because I love to reply to your comments. And always remember to zoom out in crypto and to zoom in at life because you need to try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what makes life worth living.